way to cook fish. See step-by-step -step instruction and information how to do roast fish the Jamaican way. Today I am at the Spanish Town Fishing Village, which is located in Pickenham Park, Spanish Town, St. Jackson, in the Sunshine Island of Jamaica. I'm here to buy a couple pound of red snapper to make my roast fish on the grill. This location is where you get red snapper, live red snapper. By the pound, by the bucket, whatever amount. This is the right location. So I will purchase a couple of pounds of red snapper and get them scale and prepare and clean to do my red snapper on the grill. To make your roast fish, you can use any fish of your choice. This is the fish I'm using to do my roast fish. You will also need some dry rub. So I will use all purple seasoning, black pepper, salt and fish season to make a mix, a dry rub mix. I will also use butter. You can use any butter of your choice. I will also stuff my fish with callaloo. So see my video with how to cook callaloo for that. I will also use file paper to wrap my fish. This is how the process goes. First, you will rub your fish with the dry rub. This is to add flavor to the fish. Very simple and easy. So just rub dry for some dry rub outside of the fish, inside of the fish. Secondly, you will apply some butter to the file paper. Then you will put that color of okra stuffing inside the fish. Then put on file paper, roll tightly and properly for no leaking to trap the steam and eat the cook your fish. You will repeat this process based upon the amount of fish you are doing. So just relax and properly rub your dry rub on your fish. Put the stuffing inside, put butter on the file paper, wrap your fish. However, if you are doing a lot of fish, a couple of fish, it is easier if you get some lending on to make the process easy. Okay, you can see here we have three person doing this preparation. One person rub the dry rub on the fish. The next person put the colorless stuff in and the next person wrap. However, this job can be done by one person, but it is faster and easier and more relaxing with a couple lending on. This fish is one of the easiest and the most delicious way to do roast fish. It's nothing hard. Very simple and easy. Just gather your ingredients and the necessary thing to make your roast fish on the grill. However, some people may not like callaloo. You can use other stuffing. I will be doing the next video soon with different stuffings for your roast fish. For this video, we are using callaloo and okra, which is the main stuffings for roast fish. But you have other way you can do it. Now that all your fish is properly wrapped and ready to go on the grill, it's time to move on to the next process. Yes, yeah, so see, everything is filed and ready. So the next process, you will light your charcoal. You light the charcoal to, and get the grill at the right temperature to start the roasting process.
this roasted process is very simple. Just put fish on grill, line the mountain, whatever formation you like. It won't make a difference in the roast same way. The other point of the fire is the center of the, the grill. So, during the roasting process, you will have to flip these fish several times to ensure they are not burned or anything like that. This roasting process is very easy. Don't worry, it's nothing hard. It's just about patience. So you will flip these fish from time to time, either in a 15 minute span or 10 minutes based upon the height, the heat and how high the flame is. Yeah, you can also rotate them take from the other point put on. You can also use water to kind of cool the fire down. You realize these men do not have anything to control the fire, so we normally use water. When the fish is come to a cook, you can space them around from the other point of the fire and add additional fish to continue the roasting process. To roast these fish, it's nothing hard. The only thing you need to know is when the fish roast. That is very simple. When you press on the file, your finger will sink in the fish. That simply means it is now cooked. That is all you know when the fish cook. Just pressing it and it feels super squishy or soft. That means your fish is come to a cook. You can always have water to cool this fire down. The heat down because this kind of cooling the metal that the fish and so it's like just low in the fire. Same thing. It will take some more time to bring back the heat up in the metal. So your fish is now roast. So you just open file. This fish can eat as it is. People eat this fish with other things, crackers, whatever they want. Universal, as I always say. So you can just eat this as a meal or you can eat it in whatever you want. See? Tender, juicy, roast fish. Properly cooked. What more can you want? This is how easy it is to make roast fish. Nothing hard. All you need to know is what ingredients to gather and associate with your fish. You can see clearly this fish is properly cooked. Very delicious. If you never eat roast fish before, you will surely enjoy this. As I say, the stuffing is optional. You can so also roast this fish without any stuffing. It's optional. So, enjoy this fish, family and friends. Drink a cup of beer. Drink water if you don't drink beer. Just enjoy. As I always say, if you think this video was educational or interesting, please leave a like, subscribe, press the notification bell to see more videos like this. Hello, my dear. More on top. How much a pound? Okay. I give him a pound and a half now. Three. Three.
Today I am making red snapper fish and vegetable in the oven. See step by step instruction and information how to make red snapper fish in the oven. Very quick and easy. Take a look. To make my red snapper in the oven, first I will head over to the fish market to get a couple pound of red snapper, which I will make the scale and clean my fish up. So when I come home to cook, I have no work to do with these fish. That's best thing to do. Next, I will head over to the supermarket or wherever I can get pumpkin occurs on this so this is pumpkin so this pumpkin is different from the american pumpkin this is pumpkin from the caribbean jamaica wherever you get pumpkin like this this is okra i'll be using a couple occurs in my fish and, and vegetable this is scallion i'll be using scallions this is grace fish seasoning you can use all purpose season if you don't get fish season you can use whatever brand of your choice this is grace butter bean you can use broad bean as well or you can use any brand of your choice so just get your ingredients and add home to make your before you get started do remember to subscribe highly appreciate it encourage me to do more videos like this so i will use my paper towel to dry my fish to get rid of the excess water my moisture from the fish that's the first thing you will do get them dry easy to work with because you gotta add a dry rub and all these things so you want to get that much water you can get from it then put aside so this is my pumpkin so i will cut this pumpkin peel some of the skin from it you can feel all the skin of it you cannot if you wish to use it with the skin good to go same way it's optional cut this pumpkin in whatever shape or style work best for you these are my occurs. I'll be using a couple of these okra. So I will cut the unwanted pieces from my okra. Some people use the okra in one hole. Some people cut it in two. It's optional. This is my sweet pepper, my red pepper. Cut it in whatever shape or style. This is my hot pepper. If you don't use hot pepper, leave it alone. You don't have to use it. These are my scallions. Just cut them in reasonable size. Remember, you're yeah, making red snapper and vegetable. So this is my vegetable and my seasoning. This is the butter bean. So I will open the bean. Get rid of the liquid or, the, or whatever come with the bean. You just need the bean. I don't need the liquid. So I will drain the liquid from the bean. I only need the bean. I will put this bean in a container and put aside. So I'm prepping everything, putting and preparing everything. I will be cooking the fish in the foil, the foil paper. So I'm having everything preset, everything and have them ready. Very simple and easy. Nothing hard, nothing to worry about. Just do what you can do, man. Put aside. So this is my grace fish season. So this is my dry rub. So I'm putting some inside. And I will put some outside and both sides as well. All of this is just adding flavor to your fish. When it is done, it is so tasty and nice. And it's a vegetable 
and season that make it nutritious. A very healthy meal. Now I will be using my foil paper. If this video is interesting or educational, please leave a like, subscribe, press the notification bell to see more video like this. I'm using butter here. You can use any butter of your choice. So I'm putting the butter on the file paper. You can put the butter on the fish. You can put the butter inside the fish. Whatever works best for you, you do it. So you, can, you don't have to put it on the file paper. You can put it inside the fish. You can put it outside on the fish. So this is my pumpkin. So I'm put, putting my pumpkin inside. Putting okra as well. Everything cannot hold inside the fish, so you put whatever can hold inside, and the rest of it around it. So you see, I'm um, uh, okra, my uh, pepper, my scallion. Now I'm adding my butter be. This file paper is not the right width. It's a bit narrow, so I will have to make two wrap. I'm just adding a little salt. So if you don't use salt, leave it alone. Yeah, so this file paper is a little too narrow. So if I did have the right file paper, I would just make one wrap. So I have to make two wrap here. But I'm just working what I have, you know. So if you get the right size, what is happening, happening here? I guess the fish didn't expect these size fish. So that's what if the fish were smaller, it would work. But nothing wrong. Work with what you have. So this is just like a, a, a double. If you have the right size period, you don't have to do this. It's just one go and that's it. So that's the reason for just wrapping it two times. Otherwise, I don't need to wrap it two times. So just remember that. Then you will set your oven. You can preheat your oven at a time at 350 degree. And this fish will cook for one hour. So preheat the oven, change at 50 degree, add fish to oven, leave for one hour. Upon the hour, you can take out one fish and check it if it is cooked to your suit, but it's not easy. Now that our fish is come to a cook, you can share this fish in a plate by just simply open it and slide it off in a plate. This fish can also, you can also have it in the foil, whatever works best for you, it's optional. See, just open it, slide it off in a plate, that's it. You see, you can just have it in the file like this. You don't have to take it to the file. It all depends on the situation or how you deal with things. So this is the file. See the vegetables well cooked. Fish properly cooked as well. So this fish in the oven is very easy just get a couple pound of fish put some vegetable and some seasoning with it put it in the oven to cook it's that easy enjoy this fish with family and friends what is wrong nothing is wrong Thank you all for watching. Until then, see you guys in my next video. Peace.
In this video, I will teach you how to buy and fry parrot fish easily. Okay, so this is my finished product, fry fish. Yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Fry fish ready to heat. So these are um, parrot fish. Yes, yeah, so. Fry parrot, so people who carry parrot go overseas. You understand me? We're gonna show you how you deal with parrot. So this is put up on whole harbor fishing village. So the, the brother scale up the fish them, you know. A nice one. So that we're going back. I'm gonna show you how we deal with the atail and the, 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 the garlic and thing and berry and spice and the thing. And it's fishing and it does big fish in a pot and so yeah so there are a whole lot of beer yeah see it people see fishermen vendors and everybody yeah so you have to get the fish scale up properly you know by if, you know when i eat fish i eat skin so the man uh, steal fish they're living and, you know, we you know buy little small ticky ticky fish, or buy reasonable size fish, or they fry, you know, to get flesh. And they have big bones, so the bone big, and let's arm here, they're fine. Yeah, so it's about buying other fish. Further around, tuning back with them, seasoning other fish, and they're frying other fish. I'm ready. Ready to season and fry. So we're still up on the whole of a beer fishing village. It's a barrel fish in there, you know? We're drying the fish now. After you come from the fish market or the seaside, you dry your fish. Yeah, uh, you gotta fry them so you don't want no water and then dry them. Yeah, so you dry your fish. Can I see who's like a hand towel, a paper towel, whatever you call it? And let's get the excess water. You gotta fry it in vegetable oil. So when the oil is out and the water, it, it have a reaction. I don't know if it's a, what kind of reaction they call it, but it's have a reaction. Splash and things, so you don't want any water. So let's fry them properly. Yeah, this is just fry fish. And fry fish is very simple. So you know some people when they travel from Jamaica going overseas they eh, fry up their fish and thing. Yeah, this are the this are the process, you know. This is the process. And fried fish, this process is just for about any fish. But we're using fried fish today, so if you use this snapper, you know the same thing, you know. Get them steel properly. Um dry them. And I gotta show you. My my season farm in Africa, everybody cooks different, you know. I'm gonna show you what I use. And with these fish, these fish are parrot fish, and parrot fish is a very unique fish. They come in different colors. Say for instance, this is some Oh, and you know about when they carry your dog's bark, and this is all we're cooking, you know. This is in the hills. And yeah, this is from St. Catherine, Jamaica. This is not Kingston, Jamaica. So you hear chicken crowing. Okay, so this is a mixing of the powder scene. So we have a, a, a teaspoon. So we're gonna use four teaspoons of fish seasoning. One teaspoon two teaspoon, three teaspoon, all right, four teaspoon, that's how I'm doing the fish season. And then we're gonna use the black pepper now. Yes, yeah, so these are about seasoning, but uh, these are, and that's how um, we just use one teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, and then we gotta use salt now, table salt. So, all right, with the salt, no, the salt depends on how you guys use salt. You know, some people don't use much salt. So, we put like um, a half teaspoon of salt. 
But put, put, put the one teaspoon. It's a lot of fish. Put, put half more. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so that's simple, 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 simple. So we use four teaspoon fish seasoning, and we use one teaspoon of pepper, and we use one teaspoon of salt. Yeah, so you mix it so that's a dry rub. That's all they use uh, and for the fish. So, so we gotta use the dry rub and and season the fish. You put the fish down. As I say, cooking is a hard everyone put it. So we're frying fish. So we gotta slice the fish. Put a couple slices in the fish. See me? So this is for two reasons. It penetrates the season better. Or but when it's frying, it's easier to, to, to pick the flesh from the fish. So it's for two reasons. So you apply it. Just a little pinch inside and outside. Pinch again. This one. Yeah, so you just put um, a little cut, not in a deep cut, you know. It penetrates the season better, and then when it fry, it kind of have a way you can get to pick, pick it from there, like get the flesh from the fish. So you pinch and put some dry rub inside. You rub some dry rub on the outside, just rub it in. Next side. So now our oil is super hot, but then this is a little thing I need to explain now. This is um, thyme, garlic, and two scotch, scotch bonnet pepper. What you gotta do, you gotta put these in the oil to flavor the oil. I know some people don't put like that, but this is where real flavor comes in. So we gotta take the garlic, put the pepper in the bowl and like that, put the thyme as it is in the hot oil you will see what's happening this is how it go so this flavor in the oil the garlic you should be here to smell this it smells so good it smells good and there's no fish in the oil at this so this is um some old school method and this was teaching me by an old lady and she said, this is how you get the fish super nice. So sometimes you buy fish from something where you wonder, oh, this one is nice, and this is what they do. The flavor the fire. So you burn the pepper and the garlic in the oil, and then you extract it from it. Smelling good. There is no fish in it, that's it. I need some bit of the garlic. Yeah, don't be scared. It's a good method. You can try it. Make a big taste for it. Super good. If you were here, when you finish doing what this smell like food. All right, we're gonna extract this thing from the iron now. You don't want it to burn, you know, like burn up and do it, you know. It's a 
I like to fry the garlic. You fry the pepper. Then you extract them from the oil. Take them away from the oil. We serve them sometimes I talk. Kind of stupid. I don't know why. If I get too excited or what. It's cooking. So the aisle is super flavored. A glove, a long glove. This can burn.
Rihanna tied seven tech six with ten legs to the next five. Six legs, so yeah, And I'm here in some of the aisle. family and friends you can have for dinner you can have for breakfast you can have for lunch it's not versatile is it beautiful yes it do looking good if you like this video press the link above in this video are below below to see more video like this today i am making steam red snapper fish this can serve as dinner our breakfast. See step by step instruction and information for cooking ideas. Oh, to prepare red snapper fish. Yes, so today I am steaming these four red snapper. Um, Red snapper, just like any else fish, is easy to steam. And to steam fish, you have different, different method how you can steam the fish. This way, I'm using pumpkin, carrot, um, potatoes, and some other vegetable. Um, however, just about any fish you want to steam, you can steam this way. So, just steam your fish with the necessary ingredients. It don't have to be red snapper. So first, I like to wash. I always wash my whatever I'm cooking. I like to wash it. Regardless when I buy it and I clean it up, wash it, get it clean. You understand me? I always say that. Get it clean. It don't hurt to get it clean. So you wash these fish and put them away. Maybe let's put them aside because you have all the vegetable to cut up. But just wash your fish, put them aside, get them clean, get them out of the way. And you can see I'm using two different types of fish. One of these fish, the biggest fish, it's um like a freshwater fish, which is like a pond fish, and the other three fish is like sea fish. So, as I say, you can use any fish to make your steam fish. And you can use any combination of fish together to make your steam fish. There's no rule that it has to be red snapper only or whatever. But steam your fish. All right, so that is what the clean up and the washing of the fish. So here we have a piece of pumpkin, about a pound of pumpkin, two carrots, two Irish potatoes, about eight okra, um, two carrots, Couple stalks of kellan, scallion, we have onion, and we have thyme. 
So, all right, here we got to cut up our okra, pumpkin, carrot, and all the vegetables. So, as I always say, you can cut these vegetables in whatever shape or style you like. It don't make a difference. You know, it all depends on what you want to present. So, cut up your okra, your carrots, your pumpkin, whatever shape or style, just cut them up. So if you want to cut them bigger than that, so this, this is my potato, Irish potato. So, so far I have so done the scale and my thyme, my onion, and I have a, a one scotch bonnet pepper. And I've got to cut the pepper, just going to cook it in the pot to get the flavor from it. I don't want it all. So, now you have all your vegetables and your seasoning prepared. It's no time to add them to the pot. So this is our pot we'll be used to cook our fish. So I put, if you notice, I put the pumpkin first in because the pumpkin is the, I would say the, the one who will be the hardest to cook. So I wanted to get the full force of the heat. So I put in the pumpkin first and then the rest of things can go. The rest of things easily can easily cook. And the easiest of all of this, all of these to cook is the the fish. The fish is very easy to cook. Within minutes, the fish is cooked. So let's have, add all your vegetables to the pot. I normally put the pumpkin first in the pot. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Troy. <laughs> Something else. Yeah, so um it's very important to level off these things and get them for the level. So you will add um your skeleton and time and all these things. So this is my skeleton. You notice I, I, I like spread them out, you know, spread them because with this with this part there is you would after you rest the fish in the pot and this part start to cook there will be no stirring it won't stir the pot so that is why I, I'm, I'm placing these things properly because it's just one cook there is no stirring you cannot stir it. by the time you stir the fish they are all mashed up so you just set everything properly in the pot place the fish on top. Um, I could add, I could add on the dry rub, which is a powder seasoning, but I want it to get a full understanding. So this is my butter. So this I'm using like half stick of butter. I think that might be equivalent to about, go two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, so that's my, my butter. You can use any butter of your choice. And then I will add like two cups of water. This is two cups of water. I'll be using three cups of water. But the thing is this, I, I, I'm adding the, the, the dry rub now. So this is my fish seasoning. So I'm adding two teaspoons of fish seasoning. I'll be using uh, some garlic powder. So I'm using like two teaspoons of garlic powder. Because I think I don't have any physical garlic in, in, in the cutting up of the season. So I'm using the powder. If I have garlic powder, then I don't have to use it. So this I'm just using like, or I use like half a teaspoon of black pepper. And this I'm like using like less than a half a teaspoon of salt. And you know salt and black pepper is optional. You use it to your choice. See, I'm having the next cup of water. So three cups of water to cook my fish. So... That's it, three cup of water. Over down. 
light your fire. Add your pot to the fire. Leave the steam. So this steaming can take about, you can leave the steam about, it all depends on the fire, it's 20 minutes, 25 minutes to 30 minutes, you don't need more than that. So I'm giving it three different timing. 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And that's it. Steam and steam fish is very easy to do. It's just like that, very, very easy. I think this is the easiest method. If you have a different method that is quicker than this method, please let me know. If you think this video was educational or interesting, please leave a like, subscribe, share, press the notification bell to see more video like this. So this steam fish is complete. Ready to eat. And as I always said, share with family and friends and enjoy. So I'm just shaking it, you know, see my anything. Let's cook. And, and the thing is this, you can taste. I gotta demonstrate to you how you can just put a liquor in your hands. So you see, I'm, all I'm doing is checking. So see, my Irish is cooked, my pumpkin is cooked. And my potato, I, I don't normally, I know it as Irish potato, but some people say it's not Irish, it's a potato, it's not Irish. So. That's it. Easy, easy as done. Today I am making Jamaican salt mackerel, which mainly serve as a breakfast with boiled yellow yam, green bananas, and dumpling. See step-by-step -step instruction and information how to make salt mackerel. My salt mackerel, I'm using two mackerel to make my salt mackerel. I'm washing these mackerel as much as I can to get rid of most of the salt. That's the, the salt on the outer part of the mackerel. However, I will put these mackerel in a pot to boil to extract most of the inner salt. For people who do not deal with salt or cannot deal with salt you can do this boiling process over and over till you get the mackerel saltless so it's optional what amount of salt you want to extract from this mackerel you just do the boiling process repeat the boiling process until you get it to your desired amount of salt or no salt so what i'm doing here i gotta catch water on my mackerel so i gotta catch enough water that's over the mackerel meaning say the mackerel is float um water is covered the mackerel i gotta put this pot on the stove to boil ahead of time meanwhile i prepare the rest of stuff i will be using to make my salt mackerel this salt mackerel is very easy to do the, the, the most work right about now is to get 
we have most of the salt so that's the reason for making it boil because it's very salty it was preserving salt keeping salt after it come to a boil you will turn the fire half and drain this salty water from the mackerel then you will rinse it in um fresh water again and ready to start the preparation of your mackerel so as you can see i'm remove, remove it from the stove bring it over to the sink i gotta drain this hot water from it if you have something you could just just drain it it's hot so just find that means a way to cool it and drain it that's what i'm trying to achieve here so you, you do it the way safe for you and best for you nothing to worry about what i'm doing just draining the water cooling it down and then i gotta put it in a container and break it into small pieces um some people may like the bone so they may just break it that's still have the bone remaining in them these some people don't want the bone you can take it out so cooking is all it's optional you cook to your desire but there is some basic principle we all do so if you want to use the bone it's the same principle of cooking it down if you don't want the bone so you can see you put it in a clean container with some water cool it down i'm gonna drain this water from it and i will um break it in small pieces so i will demonstrate to you and these are some of the ingredients i'll be using scallion tomatoes onion i do have any scotch bonnet pepper people who like pepper you can put pepper in it so i don't have any scotch bonnet pepper so as you see i'm about to start to break it so i break it in smaller pieces as i see you can extract the bone from it or you can cook it with the bone it all depends on how you like it i like it with the bone so i leave the bone in it if you don't like it with the bone remove the bone from it so it's optional you just do it to your desire and you don't want to break it too fine it's a fish so you don't want to shred it it don't look presentable when it that fine well as i say you can do it or you want to do it it, it's, it will still taste like salt mackerel so this is how i've finished break it See, I'm tasting a piece there, you cannot see me, but that's what I do. So we move on to okay. I'm sharpening my knife. I'm stealing my knife to get it kind of super sharp. I gotta cut up my onions and tomatoes and scallion. So this mackerel is easy to prepare, you don't need a lot of things, you know. You just so what I have here tomatoes. If you have a lot of tomato, you can use it. If you have a lot of tomato, then I will use some ketchup in this. But if you have a lot of tomato, you don't need the ketchup. So we wash them, cut them up, whatever shape or style you like. Don't make a difference. It still got to taste like some mackerel. I'm using a little piece of thyme. Um, so that's my seasoning. This is my mackerel will be cut before all right so this is a half a cup measuring the cup this is a half a cup so this is um vinegar so you can use cooking vinegar you have some cleaning vinegar i don't know the difference of it but we are cooking here so we need cooking vinegar so we need a half a cup of vinegar the mackerel it is a seafood so it's raw so you use the vinegar to kind of keep it down and it helps the flavor so this is our pot with our oil hot at a time so now we will add our seasoning okay so we add our seasoning star 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 now we will add our salt mackerel where is it Yes, 
right, so this is the macro. So you just add the macro. Stir again. This masala macro is very easy to cook, very quick and easy. And this masala macro is very been known for as a Jamaican breakfast. We take we use it as lunch and as dinner as well, but it's been known more for breakfast. The same I adding um, some ketchup. You can add the ketchup, the ketchup to your desire. I didn't put any measurement for that. So if you don't want to use it, you don't use it. If you want to use it, put whatever you like. I'm just adding a little black pepper here because I don't have any scotch bonnet pepper. And this is it. My mackerel is on the way. So I just stir, stir, and then I will leave it to, to simmer for about um, five to ten minutes. You can give it fifteen minutes at most. Leave it to simmer on a low heat, and that's the salt mackerel on its way. Simple and easy as that. Jamaican salt mackerel. Then this is good to serve with. Um, I, I have some dumpling here and some Irish. So this is what I gotta serve and eat this with. So it could be green bananas. It could be a piece of pumpkin. It could be many more things. So here's my mackerel ready to eat and as i always say if you think this video was educational or interested please leave a like press the notification bell to see more video like this share with family and friends so this is my summer so now this is my dumpling this is car meal dumpling so you could have dumpling only you could have dumpling and banana, you could have banana only, it's optional. You eat this mackerel with what you want. If you want to eat it with rice, it's up to you, it's optional. So, in my one Irish, so this is my plate. So this plate is ready to eat. So, as I always say, cook food and eat. And share with family and friends. Yes, yeah, so... This is the Jamaica, the great Jamaican salt mackerel. Some people know about as pickled mackerel or salted mackerel. Same thing. So, this is how easy it is to cook. So, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment. And just enjoy your food. Food is the stuff of life, but you just cook food in whatever style you like. This is my salt mackerel. So until then, see you in my next video. And do remember to like, subscribe, and share. Press the notification bell to see more videos like this. Today I'm making fish tea. Fish tea is a spicy soup in the Caribbean cuisine and Jamaican cuisine. See step-by-step -step instruction and information how to make fish tea. To make my fish tea soup, I'll be using three fish eggs. Or you can use the fish of your choice. You can use a whole fish. I'll be using three fingers of green bananas. I'll be using three carrots. I'll be using two potatoes and I will use about a dozen okras. I'll be also using a piece of yellow yam in my fish tea. I'll be also using four stalks of scallion a couple piece of thyme and a scotch bonnet pepper. I will also add some pimento seed. I will be using some grace fish tea noodle, a little salt. I will also using some flour to make some spinners or dumpling to put in my fish tea. First, I will use a liter of water to make this fish tea it's a small pot of fish tea so 
I will add my three fish head to the pot and cover down this pot and put on the stove to start the cooking process. In the meanwhile, while this fish is cooking, then I can work on the rest of stuff, get them ready to put in the pot. So I will be washing my vegetable and food as well. And then I will cut off the unnecessary and unwanted pieces from all this stuff. So I will peel in my Irish, get them ready. I will cut the unnecessary pieces from my ockers. Like you cut the top piece off and the bottom piece. I will always use this banana in the skin. So that I will take the top and the bottom from the banana. So I'm just preparing these things. I gotta cut them smaller, but I'm just preparing them. So the, the carrot, you get them clean and cut the unwanted pieces from it. Just preparing all these things. I gotta cut them smaller again. So this is my yam. So I will be peeling my yam. So we're putting all these things in the pot at once so this is my yellow yam just peeling the skin from the yam and get it ready now that i'm finished with the unwanted pieces from this i will cut these things in smaller pieces so this is my green banana we use the green banana in the skin so we cut in small piece so we cut our okra in whatever shape or style you like so it don't matter what shape or style but the smaller it be better like it's a small pot of soup so we cut our okras our bananas our carrots we cut our potatoes so as i say you can cut them in whatever shape or style you like you cut your yams in small pieces because um fish tea well you can serve it in a bowl could be in a cup but you cut the pieces in reasonable size so now that all our pieces is cut it's time almost time to put them to the pot because the fish is already boiling so we're gonna add these to the pot now we add our yam potatoes okra green bananas Put everything, just put them in the pot. But this fish tea is something that is very easy to cook. It's just about the timing when you put. So we put, I'll put them in the pot. We gotta leave to cook. However, if you cover down this pot, it will reliable to um boil over on the stove. So I will half mask the cover meaning half cover the pot but I will cover down the pot at first to get quicker cooking time but I will pay attention to move the cover you will see what happen when you cover down the pot that it will boil over so this is what happened so what I will do I will I was paying attention, so now I half cover the pot. However, if the heat is that I underneath it, it will still intend to boil over. So what you can do, see it's still all over, you can lower the fire. Lower the fire. Yeah, see you lower the fire and it will boil over. So you just leave to cook. Or you can use a bigger pot bigger pot you have less it will it will boil it can boil over with the bigger pot but if it's a bigger pot it's less headache so the bigger the pot the more room the more space the higher you can cook so you stir your um fish head on your fish and the necessary things in the pot from time to time the reason be you don't want them to get stuck or burn and it's simple
so it's almost time to add additional things so this is our flower i'm not making the flower in this video you have to see my other video with how to make flower dumpling so i will make him some spinners so spinners you just pinch a little piece of the flower roll and you put in the pot so i am not making the flour in this video for quicker cooking time and you know keep focus on what i'm doing here so you have to see my next video how to make dumpling all right so you just put as much spinners as you want in this soup and you can put a couple of dumpling as well it all depends it's optional what you want to do so put whatever you want any amount of dumpling reasonable amount you don't want to overdo it all right so you can see here i have some dumpling now i will be seasoning the pot so i'll be putting my scallion thyme and my scotch body pepper however you don't want to cut this pepper because it is hot so if you want the soup real hot you can do that but you just put it in the pot all and it will add some flavor to your soup so these are my fish tea flavored noodle i will i'm using three packs so i will add them to the pot so what i'm doing here now i'm flavoring the soup so the ingredients in the soup is cooked so what i'm doing now i'm just flavoring so this is the flavoring part of the soup so i add a couple fermenter seed like a, a teaspoon of fermenter seed in this soup so what i'm doing i'm putting all the flavors you now because this soup is on its way and easily within minutes it's come it will become to a complete cook so this fish thing is not anything difficult to do it's just have everything ready add them to the pot and leave to cook down so i'm always stirring around you know for entering necessary things to stock from stock in the pot um the yeah, cooking is very easy so it's a flavor of fish so what i always do i put the noodle after i don't put any salt i don't want any salt to this pot because the noodle sometimes you don't know if the noodle could is enough salt or there's salt inside the noodle so you taste based upon how you use salt if, when you taste it don't need any salt it, that's it if you think it is fresh and it need a little salt add the salt to your desire so in this fish tea, I will add like a half a teaspoon of salt. So as to you people who don't use salt, I use only this salt, you will use the salt to your desire. see um that's a little bit i want to add half a teaspoon that's too much so yeah that's half a teaspoon add to this as i said the salt is optional you add the salt to your like some people cannot use salt so it's optional no big deal no idiot no push just cook your soup and enjoy so this fish tea is almost complete just need to simmer down to the flavor associated it itself with the foods and vegetable so you cover down and leave it for about five to ten minutes 15 minutes the most to simmer and then our fish tea is on the way We 
yeah, so our soup is come to a complete cook. So turn the fire off and the soup is ready to serve. So this is our fish soup. All right, so this is a little strainer, small strainer. So the pimento seed, you can take them all like this. Very easy. Yeah, so the pimento seed floats on top, so that's the easiest way to take them out. Gotta take out your time. Right, this is a scotch bonnet paper, you don't want it to bust in the soup. So you search for like the scallion. I want to strain the soap but like all these now. You don't need them no more. It's time. You yeah, just those flavor parts after they done the job. You take them away. Alright. Here's the time. You still need it anymore. Share the soup as they go along, you see them. Just set them on the soup, you don't share them, share them in the soup, they're not necessary. The important thing is to get the flavor. This one time. So I think you get the hang of it, you just take all these things as they go along. That's it, fish soup ready. If you think this video was educational or interesting, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, press the notification bell to see more videos like this. Can Jamaican fillet parrot fish? Yes, they do. Watch this video and see how Jamaicans fillet parrot fish.
If you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Thank you.
If you like this video, please leave a comment, a like, a subscribe. All right, so we have a video you know, fish market today. I we'll buy part fish, you know, Jamaican fish market. Yeah, so poor more, poor more this, right? Yeah, poor more Jamaica. So we have a fish market and buy some part fish. So today it's a lady has to yell them. Yeah, so fix them right now. Yeah, it's ready for the thing. So, yeah, man, it's up on the bike or fish market. So, uh, fish. Yeah, man, fresh fish. Yeah, Fry. We're ready to eat. Simple, simple, simple. Let's go to the fish market and get some fresh fish. Get them scales. Oh, oh. Hot oil. Look at salt and pepper. We like to salt and pepper. And that's it. Fry fish. Right, mommy? Yeah, mommy said garlic and we like it. Pepper, you can put pepper on the oil. We like it. Pepper. Alright. You hear that garlic? Where's some of the garlic in the oil? So this is another Jamaican recipe. This is fried fish. Fish is from around around the world, but I guess our fish have a little different flavor. We don't know why. But I think it's a cause of nature. I no control of that. I just thought it as it is. Alright, the scaling process is finished now, so that's it. We're ready to go, you know. That's a sale in the fish market. Just like that. Pay, scale, and go. Show me a lot of the fish. This is a preparation of fish, you know, all those things. Some people munch on them, but I don't really have no properties on the flesh. <laughs> If you like this video, please leave a comment, a like, a subscribe. All right, Jamaican recipe. Yes, all right. Today, this recipe is about making okra and saltfish. Yes, so saltfish, some people know that's codfish, same thing. See, so this is the... um. The codfish and it put to a boil and extract some of the salt and have it ready so that's a saltfish here we have okra we have tomato tomatoes whatever we have scallion we have scotch bonnet pepper we have sweet pepper we have onion we have scallion and we have thyme so here we have a knife we have a plate yeah so this Dish is very simple and easy, quickly put together. So, um, here I gotta explain something about okra. This is okra. So here you have the okra with these are the pieces on it. Yes, and this you have the okra without the pieces on it. Some people eat the okra in one hole like this. For me. 
I normally cut the little pieces off, it heat better. So it's optional, whatever you want to do. So let's get started. All right, here. Yes. So this is cutting your scallion. Here's some people call it green onion. Whatever it be, or whatever you call it, it's the same flavor. All right. And then this, we call this sweet pepper. What else? Why we call it sweet pepper? It, it haven't have any burn. So for us, we call it sweet pepper. You guys might call it a different thing. All right. So you cut in whatever shape or size or style you like, same flavor. Then we use a hot pepper now. This one now is a scotch bonnet pepper, hot. You guys say it's spicy. All right. Then we have tomato, tomatoes, whatever, same flavor. Whatever shape or style you like. We have onion here. Yeah. As I always say, whatever shape or style, same flavor. It don't matter the cut, it's the same flavor. Always remember that. And this is um, thyme. You do have to cut it. You just put it in, extra the flavor analysis. And this is a hot crow. You keep this to whatever size or big or small. It don't make a difference. It's the same. All right. So that's it for the cutting and preparing of the seasoning. Okay. All right. This is a pot with hot oil, coconut oil. Yeah. Super hot. So we will put in our... Yeah, go ahead. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Then I put some in there. Yeah, so, pile, hot pile make a difference. You see me, when you put the thing in coal oil, the flavor don't extract properly. Hot oil. Oil cannot too hot, hot oil. You remember that. And then you can put in a salt fish. You put in a salt fish, salt fish, hot fish, whatever it is, same thing. All right, and it's star. That's what it will look like. So you make this do a little cook on the fire, five minutes, uh, six, seven. I guess if you're still watching this video, you are interested. So do remember to give us a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And this is the finished product of this popcorn sawfish. And over here, this is what I got to heat now. But this is dumpling. So in the next video, we show you how to make dumpling, not now. So this is okon sawfish with dumplings. It could be, a, you could have yam and other sweet potatoes and potatoes, but this is just dumpling. So that's it, I'm out. fish yes this is fish and we will use excel to water cookers yes jamaican style maggie season up all purpose fish seasoning chicken jerk well in this dish we will only use the all purpose and the fish seasoning don't need to use the chicken and the jerk then grace coconut milk powder to bring our fish down to a very milky flavor. But we have pimento seed. We have garlic. We have scotch bonnet pepper. We have sweet pepper. Onions. 
we have carrots, we have okra, we all use a fish and okra, Jamaican style. We have scallion, we have thyme, scallion, thyme, we have pumpkin. Okra, pumpkin, carrot that we cut up. Well, this is our pot with pumpkin, okra, and carrot boiling. Yeah, this is in eight cups of water yeah this this beautiful when it comes to a cook then we season the pot this is all door cooking all right this is our coconut milk powder um five tablespoon of coconut milk powder. You put a little water. Mix. It comes creamy and thick. Then you put this in your pot. mix tablespoon of salt so what we actually do is now seasoning the pot that we cut up earlier on Flavor in the pot. The fish is easy to cook, so you don't put in the fish as it. You don't want the fish to 
Maggi season up. We use like a teaspoon. This is a fish. And the all purpose, we just use the all purpose and the fish for this. Don't forget, you don't use a chicken in this one, or the jerk. Teaspoon. Tablespoon, yes, sorry. Too much is it. Yes, stop. Yes, it smell good. Now we will put in the fish. Fish in the pot. 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 Yeah, excel the water crackers. Great crackers. And remember not to, to cover the pot. You have to half mass it if this will boil over so you just half mass. don't know uh, wet crackers going to dry crackers this is the finished product yeah to make uh, steam fish and water crackers in this video i will teach you how to buy Prepare and season and fry your fish. Yes, this is fry fish. Very easy. No problem. Yeah, fish market. Yeah, I'm going to steam them. Well, the steam them fry them already there. All right, so the uh, fish market, I'm going to cook down two fish for it. In Canada, you know? So, yes, I had this spot. This is a secure spot. So this is the store where we get the skeleton. Time. Time, skeleton. Pepper. Okra. A pumpkin or whatever, now I reckon a pumpkin. Um, we don't know how many of the things them. You might just fry them and then just put them down. Yeah. Get on a piece of pumpkin. Nice, top seal, man. Yeah, man, so it's all about the fish pot. So we got the fish market that we stop with the liquor. Market and get popcorn and thing and thing. Pepper. Fresh, so when we are cooking, the thing them fresh. This are the green banana. So I get a little piece of yam. And yeah, man, this is long everything. Yellow yam, a yellow yam, this right? Yeah. 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 And we have pork and all kind of sitting there. But when I work with all of them things, that's a record of piece of yam. Yeah, man, tada. Hmm? Buy that, now buy it for buy that. We have double check skeleton and time. We have okra. Yeah, we have pumpkin and banana. We have yam. Yam, yeah, we have everything. We want fire and pattern now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we have fish here. And we have fried fish. So, as usual, we clean up and wash and get them ready. 
clean. Hot pepper. We gotta fry the fish. So this is how we need fry the fish. So we're using vegetable high to fry fish. All right, so we put oil in the pot. You just need a so fish do have to deep fry, so that's why the cover the bottom of the car. like 